Hello and welcome back, fellow PowerShell engineers. Now I'd like to go over a very important concept known as an array. You may have seen this already in different units. And an array is a collection of items. More specifically, it's a data structure designed to store a collection of items. You start to create an array the same way you would create a variable or an object by coming up with a name for it and using the dollar sign character. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's we'll say Jedi. Let's create a, an array with some Jedi names in it. However, from there, you use the at symbol and then parentheses to store your values. And now you can store these. If you're storing strings, you can use single or double quotes. And we'll just go ahead and do that. And th these are comma separated. So we'll say Obi-Wan Kenobi. Luke Skywalker, Yoda, I noticed here too I already violated a rule of my own. Uh, you can put spaces in between these, I like to keep this consistent. <laughs> Swindu, notice the PowerShell will just go on to the next line if you run out of space there. You close it out with the parentheses. So let's go ahead and set that. Now we've got our array set. And if we type just Jedi and return it back, we get all our values back. However, that's not exactly useful. Um, but let's also to validate the type here. And the base type we'll notice is system array, and it is an object. Now, if we want to access a specific value of that, we would use what's known as the element index. So if we want to access the very first value, it's important to know that you start with zero always when you're doing this with arrays. This is gonna be really critical as we work with arrays throughout the course, throughout any kind of scripting. We get our first value, and we would do the same if we just work through. So that element index refers to that specific value that was set earlier. So arrays like other variables, they're not static. They're easy to modify existing elements, add to the array. For example, if we want to change the value of an element, you just need to redefine that specific element. Um, so if we were to do that, Trying to think of another Jedi name here. Uh, Anakin Skywalker. No, he's no longer a Jedi. And then if we scroll back up, we see that we've now set that to that. Um, so to add an element, you can use the plus equal operator. So say we wanted... Jedi, we'll do our plus equal, and we're just adding another string to it. And we'll say Kylo Ren, even though he's also not a Jedi anymore. <laughs> and if we look at our whole values there, we see we've now added Kylo Ren. And notice too that we've also, our change value is represented there. So it's really that simple to work with these. Um, just adding, changing values, and defining them. And they're very important as you get, as you move along, as we get information pulled back from, say, CSV files or API calls. It's oftentimes returned to you in an array. So that's about it for this lesson. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one.